Hi, I'm McKennis, and I want to find out if theater and football are really that different. They seem like complete opposites, art and sport, but are they really? In the next week, I'm going to have theater and football students do theater warm-ups, dance warm-ups, learn a dance, and a play, and do it all together. I want to see if it's actually real, or if it's all just stereotypes. Are they really that different? I myself am an arts kid. I do basically all the forms of art, but I used to do sports, so I do know quite a bit about sports. But I will be completely impartial, I will not take any part in either of them. I will just be filming it and editing it. In the last four years, both departments have done amazing things. Theater won Oregon State Thespian Conference in 2016 with their production of Once on this Island. In 2017, they won Oregon State Thespian Conference with a large group acting piece called Girls Like That and with solo acting. In 2018, they won the Mount Hood Conference with two solo acting entries. They won regional acting competition in novice solo acting, experienced solo acting, experienced solo musical, large group acting, duo acting, and duo musical. At State, they won duo musical with We Do Not Belong Together and won with two entries in the stage management category. Every year, they collect cans to donate to the Wichita Center on Halloween. And their own Haley Kilgore is now on Broadway in Once on this Island. Football has also done a lot of amazing things. Football has won Mount Hood competition three times. In 2017, they were 6A state champions. In 2018, they collected food and supplies for the Wichita Center. And their own Cole Turner is now a wide receiver at the University of Nevada. Yesterday, I filmed a theater section. They did the dance, they did the warm up, all together. Here that is. You are going to take a step back, diagonal back with your left foot, lean down, and then bring it back up. We are going to do it that direction. So, guess what? We are going to slide two, kick, kick. Then eight, slide two, kick, kick, slide two, kick, kick. Come on up here. Do it with me. So 
forward. Yeah. So what you're gonna do, since we're turning this way, you're going to kick your right foot forward, then you're gonna kick your right foot back, then you're gonna turn your body around, kicking your foot up, and then your foot down. Yeah. Send right, it. about you but seeing football players laugh doing a theater warm-up was pretty awesome for me but here's what the kids had to say about it teamwork work a lot on teamwork and uh keeps you healthy and strong i think football you make a lot of lifetime memories with your friends um it's it's just like hanging out you're you're at practice you're hanging out with people you're at games and you're at social events, that, that just, it's just memories for life. Football you, keeps you in physical shape, um, and you're around great people and representing your school, your town, and um, you know, the community. We work on endurance as well as um, the technique of the game itself. They have to focus on where the ball is. So I think it's, it's similar to theater in that you have to be able to coordinate your body and do various movements while also having your mind in other places. More on a mental level, I feel like in a situation football players are in, being so physical and, I won't say violent, but like very up and close with other people from other teams and having to remain a professionalism, being focused on the game and getting the goal. And I think that builds them up mentally and also having to learn, um, like they have to be a team and they have to be focused. It keeps you agile. I think people who are in theater are really passionate about it, and it's just like a football. People, football players are passionate about it, so, so are theater people. Their game is like a performance. I think that theater is a really good way for us to get exercise, but also we can kind of focus on the acting part of it, so it doesn't, for us, it doesn't necessarily feel as much like exercise. We're in these big musical numbers and we're singing and singing and dancing and dancing. We're all doing that all at the same time. So it's building our lung capacity, it's building our strength, it's, um, it's, it's something that's really, really difficult to get used to, but um, yes. we had a choreographer years ago. Um, he was a dance captain of a Broadway show, his very first show, and he always told us when he would train, he would get on his treadmill and then run through the entire show. Full speed on the treadmill, full energy, full volume. both require a lot of physical activity, but, you know, football is more of a hitting thing, where theater is more of the arts, kind of more dancing. I mean, there's no differences. The similarities is everyone's passionate about what they do. They're getting physical activity in it, and they like to perform and play, so everyone's doing what they love to do. We're more similar than we like to believe. Um, I think that football players and theater students are both very community-based. We both have, we're, we're very close. Well, I think one difference between football and theater, theater is typically perceived as a more feminine um, 
thing and there are typically more girls involved with it and football is more masculine, there are more guys, so I guess more gender stereotypes is a difference. Similarities would have to be that um, when you make a commitment to either a team or like a show or a game, that you make that commitment. And yeah, that they have to remain that professionalism. Um, and I'd say differences, just that football players have to be more careful about how they perceive themselves. And theater kids, we kind of already know we're just weird and just our thing is just whatever, so. Um, you know, theater was really cool. It was, it was fun to experience um, something that um, we're not used to doing different aerobics. Um, I think that they probably learned a bit how kind of fast paced the rehearsal process is, how quickly we have to learn steps and remember long uh, choreography. And so I think that they maybe their um, thinking has improved of us and our um, physical abilities. I was expecting them not really take it seriously and just be like, oh, whatever, this is just crazy theater stuff, but they were so, like, <laughs> the, the guys that were really trying to get the choreography down were so focused and having so much fun. Even the guys who were distracted, they were just kind of, they would tune in and they'd tune out, but it was mainly they were distracted because they weren't keeping it up, but, like, if it was something that they, they did, you know, for a living, it, it definitely wouldn't be the same. Like, I feel like they'd have so much fun. It's a lot of work. I really love what they do, and you know that if that makes them happy, that's that's great. So yesterday, I filmed the football players and the theater students doing the football warm up and learning a play. It was great seeing theater kids laugh at themselves, learn how to use equipment, and work together. So here that is.
running back? Sure. Let's do it. Okay, so you're gonna stand right here. Right here. Right here. Right over there. Okay. You're gonna snap the ball. Right. See your stance. Good wine. Hey, that's really good, by the way. Put your hands on the laces. Okay. okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna flick it back to the quarterback. Okay, now let me show you where the quarterback's gonna be. Okay. Oh yeah. You're gonna be right here. Okay. And you're gonna see how I have my hands up, I got my feet out, right? A little bend, a little swagger, a little confidence, right? Okay, ready? Set. Cut. Caught. Nice snap. Holy moly. You brought a ringer in here. Okay, so let me do it one more time. Okay. okay. Set. Hut. She's really good. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Clap. Okay. Set. Hut. <laughs> I'm telling it's coming in hot. She's good. Okay, start again. I'm so ready. Okay. Set. Hut. Nice. Good job. Okay. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand right here. Just across from her like this, okay? okay? And put your hands here, hands here, really good. Chest out, perfect. So she's gonna say set, hut, right? You're gonna get the ball, so pretend like she has the ball. Okay, and as soon as she touches it, you're gonna come across like this, and you're gonna hand it to her. You're gonna stick it out like this, just stick it out. Just like you're dealing cards, just put it out. Okay? Set, hut. Set it out, and you just put it right here in my stomach. You're gonna have your right hand up, yes, just like that. And as soon as it hits your stomach, you close, and you're gonna run. But it be you this first time. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, part, part, whole DJ. Okay. Okay, Ben. Let's back up a little bit. Okay, a little soft on the snap, right? Set. Play. I think you guys all know this play. It's going to be Brown Reach. Brown Reach. Do you know this play? Yes. Okay. You sure? Okay, now, hey, she knows. She's going to clap. And that tells you to get ready. Then she's going to say set really loud, get pop down, and then hut. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> Got this? Yeah. Here we go. Set, hut. <laughs> get outside. Quarterback. It's crazy the amount of work it goes to be a football player, just like these girls learned. Here's what they had to say about it. It was cool because they like got to like adjust to something else besides theater. Um, I think it was like really different because I mean it's just two different backgrounds, you know. Theater, you know, like on the stage, one's like out on the turf. It's a, it's like a totally different background. So yeah. It was. Interesting. It was fun. I don't know. It was kind of hard. It was fun. It was a little difficult to like get the footwork that they do, but I'm sure they felt the same way with dancing. They have to work hard doing their stretches and stuff and their whole workout. The moves that they do is pretty hard. But they're actually super outgoing, and I never knew that, but they're really outgoing. They do work out? like. Even if like everybody thinks that they don't, kind of. I would probably say that they are very dedicated um, and that they really have like very precise attention to detail in more of the creative type. Hard work pays off and the more work you put in, the better you get out of it. That probably everybody thinks that they're just jocks and they don't really like keep up their grades, but they're actually really on top of their grades. They're willing to try something different. They're, they were willing to dance and just kind of jumped right into that. They work really hard and um, a lot of the time it kind of seems like what they do is easy except for like 
they just have to be really strong, but it's kind of not that way. Theater is not as easy as you could think it was before you tried it. Again, it's like totally two different backgrounds that like football players wouldn't see like the theater background and the theater players wouldn't see the football background. So yeah, I think that's what I learned. I think I've learned that people like you think that people fit into like stereotypes and then they like really don't like football players. Like you I wouldn't think that they would jump into the dancing like they did. People are more willing to try things than you think. Um, especially when the football players danced, they had a a lot of them had a really good attitude and just tried to have fun. And um, I also learned that it's kind of similar. After interviewing the kids, I realized I didn't just want to interview them. I also want to interview the adults in their lives who make all this happen for them. So here that is. A lot easier than coaching football players. <laughs> <laughs> it only took five minutes to put a play in. No, they were. They were great. They did a really good job. They were. They listened well. And so, not that I didn't think they'd be athletic, but those three girls are pretty athletic. To snap and catch and hand it off like that without really much training, that was good. Well, it was a lot of fun. Um, there's not. It's not really a secret, but many of the athletes that participate in the theater program know that I have a really soft spot in my heart for football players because my dad was a football coach. And so I grew up um, at football practice, and I have extraordinary amounts of um, regard for the work that athletes do, because athletes and actors have far more in common than they have differences, really. Um, my theater students tease me that I actually coach acting much like a football coach. It's probably true, because I spent so much time with my dad on the field. It was super fun. Um, I love teaching athletes because they already have such dedication and determination with anything that they do, usually. Um, and so when they put their mind to it, when they focus up, it's really easy for them to pick it up because it is athletic. It is athletic to learn a dance. And so when they put their twinkle toes on, they did a really good job. And it's a lot of fun to watch. I got to be honest, I've, I've coached boys and girls sports for a long time. My daughter, um, I coached her in basketball and golf and my son in all football, baseball, basketball. I really like working with girls. Um, not that I don't love boys, but they, they're, uh, they're a lot more receptive to things and sometimes their egos don't get in the way. So they, they just pick things up faster. Now, you got to get them to stop giggling so, so much, but uh, overall, I like working with the ladies. I wish that schedules were structured so that athletes, athlete schedules are so intense, they often don't have an opportunity to really experience what it means to be um, an emotional athlete. Because really, often if you're in a musical or you're in a play, depending on the style of the show, physically it's, it's demanding as any sport. And then on top of it, you add text, language. They have to be athletes of the lip, the teeth, and the tongue. And then they have to be emotional athletes. They have to be willing to feel um, on behalf of the story and make that visible to everybody else. There's a lot of emotion inside of football. Um, it's just, there's a lot of drama. Really, it is a gigantic spectacle. Um, it's a different form of, of a theatrical event. But you don't always, they don't always get to experience the same kind of intensity with a story and text. Um, and it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that schedules don't make it possible sometimes. I love to get athletes in the theater program because it, it's not, they understand dedication, they understand hard work, they understand um, working as a team, they understand how to take criticism. They are like 75% of the way there with their athletic training um, before they ever, ever walk in the door. So it's pretty easy to help them understand the value of art making once they get an opportunity. They just don't always get an opportunity. I think any athletic group, it is so much fun to work with them. Um, I love doing that switch. I would like to see um, any individualized sport um, because I think 
having to, instead of pay attention to just themselves and worry about just themselves, you have to worry about an entire group while you are on stage. You have to worry about the other person across from you um, because acting is reacting and you are always reacting to something else um, instead of uh, just being in your own head. I just finished editing all of this and I guess I'm supposed to say my final thoughts now. So, are they really that different? I don't really think so. They're just kids doing exactly what they love to do. Arts and sports are really not that different. People are just working for what they love and what they want to do in the future and doing amazing things for themselves, their bodies, their community, and their school. So, no, I don't think they're that different. And yeah, maybe it might be stereotypes, but it's been amazing working on this, and I hope these kids learn stuff about trying new things and working together, and we're all not really that different. I'm McKenna, and this has been amazing.